Alright, so I'm Calvin Hagen, obviously by the channel, and I, as you see I'm going to do the 10,000 calorie burn challenge, because there's loads of eating challenges, but I've only seen a couple of burn challenges. So I'm doing it just because of a day off, and I want to spend the day exercising, and I just said, why not challenge myself and try to do 10,000 calories. I've seen it done by two people, uh, Steve Cook, who tried to show that you can't out train a bad diet, which I agree with and Aaron Carl, who's just below me in Ireland and Northern Ireland. So I'm currently 215.5 pounds. I'm 5'11", 6 foot, and I'm 17. Don't judge. This is what I currently look like, you know, not too lean, I don't expect much change, but just in case a miracle happens. So I'm going to be using the Garmin Feel Active HR, it's a very good watch, I'd definitely recommend it. So it constantly tells me my heart rate and my resting calories which are usually about 2300-2400 a day and then my active calories which is anything I do above my resting. So it looks through my calendar, I don't wear less every day, I wear active days and the most I could find is I've burnt 6,500 calories in a day, which was a day where I did a 50 mile cycle. So that's why I'm putting cycling in my training program because I'm sure that that's going to help. But I'll have to see what happens tomorrow and I'll catch up with you soon.
Okay, so it's one o'clock and show you here one o'clock, one oh two and I'm on uh, four thousand two hundred and fifteen calories. So I'm a wee bit behind you might say well, you're about halfway because I was sleeping so that doesn't really count but I don't I don't know if I'll be able to do it and you might just say again I'll just just go a wee bit harder but I feel so sick I don't know what it was did I eat something bad or is it just all this exercise but my stomach's killing me but I just have to keep going so I'm on the way to the gym and I'm gonna go there for a couple of hours two or three hours and see what I can do there but after that I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going This is so bad. Even walking is taking out of me. Like, I knew it was going to be bad, but not this bad. It feels so bad right now. So I'm at the gym now, and so I'm going to go on the rowing machine. So I just feel so sick. But I just keep going, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. But I just keep moving until I'm done. Until I just can't do it anymore. Definitely would not recommend this. Don't even try it. It's so bad. So it's almost two o'clock. And I'm on 4,650 calories. Oh my god. Probably hit 5,000 by two or three. And there's no chance of me hitting 10,000, but I won't hit 10,000, sorry. But honestly, don't attempt it because I feel like shit. Absolute shit. It's not worth it. If you want to do a challenge, do 5k or 6k. Because that, that's challenging enough. I don't know how I did 6,500 a day without even trying to do as many as I can. All that was was a cycle, but. So annoyed at myself and not been able to do this, but just can't. Quarter three, finally hit 5,000. Obviously, I don't think 10,000 is happening. Don't know what I'm aiming for, just gonna keep going, see what I hit. Okay, so it's six o'clock now, so that's three quarters of the way through, and I have burnt 6,283 calories. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do much more tonight because I'm not good. It's been a really long day, one of the longest days I've ever had. Um, probably a hit. I should definitely hit 7,000. Don't worry, I won't be doing it again because. I never want to put myself through this again. And as I said before, if you want to do it, you can, but I wouldn't do 10,000, that's too high. Um, if you're a if you're lighter weight, so if you're female or a lighter weight male, 
and I'd recommend probably five or six thousand as a target. If you're on my weight, you know, over 200 pounds, um, and if you're fit, I, I would go for about 8,000. Obviously, if you have heart problems or any other uh, bone problems, I wouldn't really recommend doing this because it's really taxing. Like, my heart rate's been above 100 all day long. Um, peaking above 200 during the day. For disclaimer, if you're not planning on doing it, go see your doctor just to make sure it's okay. And ensure you eat enough throughout the day because I eat loads, don't worry. Get loads of pasta and sandwiches, a couple of treats as well. It is Halloween. Um, not really much else to say though, but you just have to see how many calories burn at the end of the day, I'll show you later. So as well, I noticed that whenever I entered my weight, I entered it wrong, so um, I forget what the difference was. But there's a difference between I was light I put in lighter than I actually am, which means my watch will like say all the calories I burn are less, quite a bit less. So but overall I'm happy. And I could, probably could get almost ten thousand. Well I don't think I could hit ten thousand, but I think I'd get an extra thousand or two if I did it really hard, but no. This is me morning after. Not much different, but a wee bit. Maybe if you know. So here's my results, I'm trying to record my computer but it's not coming up very well. But So this is my heart rate throughout the day, so I start off sleeping, you know, very, just very maintained at 60 beats per minute. And then my heart rate started going up until I woke up, there's when I woke up and my heart rate started going up and it stayed high all day, mainly in the green, going up to red and sometimes dropping down to blue, all day long until I stopped around, I did some a little bit in there and then went down. So my resting heart rate was 50 and it says my high was 194 but uh, that only records it every like 10 seconds. There was a point where I hit over 200 whenever I was training earlier. I think it was on the bike, just wasn't recorded it. Um, so these are all the activities that I actually record it. So there's cycling, walking, indoor rowing and walking again. But I also did some cardio equipment and other stuff like that. Okay, so I did uh, 35,500 steps, which is 448% of my goal by 8,000. And I went, I went uh, almost 40 miles, blanked it's a bike, uh, climbed and descended 50 floors. And this shows me when I did the majority of my steps throughout the day. Could show you more details on all of these, but I'm sure you don't care to be honest. Um, 
there's what said my weight was, even though I'm five pounds heavier than that, which is why I think my calories would be a wee bit underestimated. And now I'll show you my calories. So this is my calories here, so 7,224 in total. So obviously I wasn't going to hit it, um, but I think I could have if I kept going in the evening, but it got dark and I had nothing really to do indoors and I was just really tired from the day, but I think I could have got over 8,000 if I just kept pushing. Um, so 2,465 of them was just my resting calories, and then I burned 4,759 above that. So to be honest, I am quite happy with that anyway. I I know I could have done a wee bit more, but at the same time, I didn't want to go too hard because I was exhausted. It definitely did have a beneficial effect, but obviously it's not the best way to lose weight, and I wouldn't recommend it as a way to lose weight because it's not sustainable over time. But yeah, I'm still very pleased with that. A bit disappointed at the same time. I did try hard, so I'm happy with it. All right, thank you very much for watching. Um, I tried to keep this video really short, but just seems to add up so if you've reached this point thanks for watching it all and i hope that you liked it so if you did leave a like below and comment if you're going to try it but i wouldn't recommend it um, and subscribe if you if you want to see more content like this thank you